Hey there guys, welcome to FPS Tutorial Part 5. Let's get started right away. I hope you're doing well. So yeah, what I want to show you this time is this little game that I've created for you. The graphics aren't very good, but that's because I uh, chose performance over graphics this time. At least I do that a lot of times. All right, it doesn't run very well. I don't know why that is. Um, like I said in a previous video, my computer isn't doing very well. So that might be the case, uh, the cause, I mean. So what can you do in this game? Um, there's zombies coming from all directions. And so basically all that happens is um, these zombies will break through the fence sometimes and they will scare the shit out of you. Like they scared me so many times before I uh, released this video. So sometimes they drop little green things like these. These are water bottles that you need to collect in order to survive. This is like a uh, little survival game. You have to go into the danger zone and get those little water bottles because if you don't you will probably dehydrate and you wouldn't want that to happen of course so yeah that's um all there is right here it's just a little map with some uh, grass and concrete i'm really sorry that it doesn't run at 60 fps this time uh maybe i i really don't know why that is the resolution isn't very good either so that cannot be it must be my computer well so that's what I want to show you guys this time so let's get started with the tutorial but before I actually do start I wanted to uh, tackle another problem that I uh, that I was recently sent so I was asked how do you add a texture to a model so well that's what I'm gonna do first it's not gonna take very long so if you're not interested I will have some kind of uh, annotation here to tell you which uh, where to skip to so how to do this you go to I'm for um, what am I gonna say I'm sorry I'm kind of tired here so this is a little block as you can see and how do we add a texture to it this is model creator 5 you all know it probably if you're using game maker we've all used this in the past so what you want to do is you click settings and then go to change and go select your textures. I have a lot of these here. So let's use uh, concrete, and it automatically just uh, adds your texture. If you click other texture, of course, it will automatically just paste the texture all over your object. But if you don't want that, you can click here on text. This is the UV editor, and you just select the entire thing. I just press T, by the way, to turn it into triangles. You can just uh, adjust the vertices on the UV editor and you get something like this for example. This is how I add textures to my models and uh, I've done it to the M1 Garand that's in the game too. This way, so uh, where are you? Rifle A. As you can see this is a very simple model, it, it isn't very uh, good looking at all. It looks like um, it came from some kind of World War II game from 1998. So then I added the texture of the Garand on it, it's uh, this one, and it looks like this. Well, when you go to UV Editor, you'll see that I've just simply dragged all these vertices all over the place. I'll show you what happens when I just, for example, take these, just throw them over here. You'll see that it turns white, or just, just jump a little all up like, like this, bam. So that's how you add textures in uh, Model Creator. So that was the first tutorial of two. Let's go to the real one, the FPS one. So sprites here, you can check them out yourself. It takes me a little too too long uh, to all address these. I have two sounds, the sound of shooting and the bottle. And some of these textures. Well, these textures aren't very good either. They're very low res, but still the game lags like a shit. And I really don't know why that happens. So these are... Uh, these two scripts again so yeah objects were here already oh I clicked it away I'm sorry so player in it GMFT in it D3D start D3D set hidden D3D, this 3D depth and stuff like that these are all the uh, looting variables some bottles food and HP which is your health this is where I load the gun model rifle texture of the rifle so this one is the one you saw just then and the texture of his arm so those were the textures and uh, the models and all the 3D stuff. So the mouse look. 
and um, well as you can see I've used this again this, uh, the if statements I was told that this would work too uh, like this pitch is clamp pitch minus change y uh, minus 89 and 89 and for me it didn't quite work this script didn't work for me unfortunately it did keep uh, the pitch between 89 and negative uh, 89 but unfortunately the, the uh, vertical sensitivity was just out of this world it was just way too high and I couldn't fix it so that's unfortunate it's a way better and more efficient way to do it with the clamp statement instead of the ifs so escape closes the game when you touch the ladder you will climb the ladder both up and down I don't why does it say SS it didn't say that just then so yeah this is kind of it I, I really don't know how the, the ladder works honestly I just typed something in and it kind of works so uh, that's good you lose a little bit of health my neighbors are annoying uh, these were for debugging and I have to remove these as for firing you've all seen this drawing the projection is the uh, this one that you've all that you're all familiar with and a lot of this stuff well you can take a look at this this is just a tree line the skyline and stuff like that and of course the HUD but the HUD isn't that important you can just simply remove this one it's just for debugging as well so I'm not going into these uh, these are just floors as you see these are just uh, yeah floors the objects that you can interact with so yeah they're not that much uh, they're not that interesting this wall isn't either let's see what is interesting well, the zombie is kind of interesting I guess it's as very simple zombie AI is the easiest there is just have the zombies walk towards the player and that's it make contact damage well, it's it's really not that hard to do and as you can see right here it just moves towards the player like this with its own uh, speed so yeah yeah if it was uh, something more interesting like real human AI that would hide behind uh, or take cover or something like that that would have been a lot more interesting so yeah the letters is just an object too object bullet you've all seen this one in all my FPS tutorials so far an object bottle just gets looted <laughs> that's all it does object lighting is right here is uh, just this color it's just some kind of bright orange color I guess you could call it that yellow orangish color and this is dark blue this is the other color I I really don't like using dark gray or something like that or black I prefer blue it just looks a bit better in my opinion and the room which is the best movie ever created but I'm talking about this room you can see this is the tiny map that I was that I've shown you guys the laggy map well we went through this one really quickly so yeah I have the download in the description below and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in FPS tutorial part 6 I have a poll in the description as well just tell me what you want to see in the future and I'll see you guys later